Welcome back to another episode of Save My Assets. I'm Paul Carter. And I'm Grant Carter. And it is February 15th, 2017. So what we do is address people's questions five at a time because it's so much easier to do that than actually type out a page or a paragraph and response. And we think other people have the same questions, so we're going to refer them to these uh, videos if they do have the same question. Right. And what's our first question? It's Jose. He wants to know, i got it written down here, it says, okay. how much does it cost to replace three foam seat cushions for a sofa and I don't know Jose and this is why because we don't know what size you have uh, we don't know if it's uh, six inches or five inches or three inches it's most likely like six inches mm -hmm. and we don't know the left and the right or the front to the back right because all suppliers to our knowledge does a board foot measurement so that's the area that the foam takes up mm -hmm. like he said the depth the width and the thickness of the foam mm -hmm. has a great deal to do with the cost as well as the, the compression and the density. density right so density is very important the average density is in a ballpark of about one five okay and one eight is pretty good too you're going to find that out there but we do two six or 26 and that's more expensive than one eight jose you might just want to go with one eight if you are on like everyone else on a budget so right. if you want to keep it low then go with a lesser con uh, density it just won't last as long uh, that that's that's the drawback but it is still an industry standard yes you'll be fine so we hope that answers your question also it depends on where you where you live at mm -hmm. uh, it depends on the supplier if they're in your town then you're most likely going to get a cheaper uh, shipping rate but if that's come from the other side you could be in Alaska the other side of the country right you know you know you, you've been around so you get it so we hope that addressed your uh, question but we definitely want to say thank you for uh, giving us the question and we hope we answered your your uh, satisfactory to your question all right next comment we have is from Sarah and it just says um, my dad and I are building a couch that's mm -hmm. pretty cool that is very cool yeah that's one reason actually why we picked this comment because yeah. we thought it was awesome yeah um, because I've moved to a new place every year for the past seven years <laughs> are you on the run okay we're not <laughs> gonna say anything <laughs> no, that's fine. we don't let you're on the run crazy I know it yeah. could be fun it I could hope, be I hope it's fun I hope so <laughs> yeah, but I can see why you want to uh, what you're building here yeah so I need a couch that can be taken apart and is cost effective for my recent co college grad budget but isn't hideous and we can definitely understand that I think that's cool you're doing this yeah so we are designing and making a couch I'm currently overwhelmed by all the different websites that you can order foam from mm -hmm. do you have any websites as company that you recommend and the answer is we do we do we get our foam out of albany new york and uh we think they're a great supplier Definitely. and we think that they'll be less confusing for, or we hope so than what you're finding on the internet and i think the reason why is is with the internet you can look up and you go onto amazon because i've done it before i've seen it looking there and you have all these companies that have a fit size mm -hmm. and compression compression and density that you can buy so mm -hmm. for example you might buy a six inch slab that's 18 you don't really want you 18 don't want that. you want 26 so you're mm -hmm. trying to look for that and then another the one's like eight inches tall or you know ten inches tall or two or inches whatever, tall right whatever but you need too it too short too long right you need it to be a certain thickness for example we had a video that we did recently of replacing the foam on the arms in the front of a sofa and with that we needed one inch foam turned out really well right so we don't want to buy a six inch slab of foam and start cutting it down lengthwise it's mm -hmm. a lot of work and you need a special tool and it's just a waste of time so with this company, the main point is you have the uh, ability to customize what your foam slab would be, or you can even give the measurements that you need, and they'll cut it for you. Just as long those are your finished measurements. So right. it's completely up to you. There's an easy way of cutting foam. I don't know if you, you've done some research on the internet uh, with a carving knife. You know, it's very simple. It's very easy. So you can just cut it yourself too. Right. So hopefully that helps. Yeah. Again, kudos to you yeah. and your dad for doing it. And that was one of the reasons why, Sarah, we wanted to see if you would do this. Would you send us the finished pictures, obviously, when you're done, uh, or even while you're going through yeah. it? Yeah. I just thought about it. That'd be kind of cool, actually. And if we could help, we'd like to, to uh, our Facebook page, which is Urban Castle or uh, Urban Castle Interior, Interior Solutions. Solutions. So that would be great. If you're willing to do that, I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. So, 
We really appreciate it. I think we covered everything. We'll give you a link below where to get the phone. We didn't we didn't tell you right now. Just look for the link below. Right. And uh, sorry about the late the reply. I um, know. Three months. We don't really look at the messages. We look at the comments, but we hope we got to you in time. And if not, we'd still like to see the pictures. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Even if you're done. Yeah. So we'd appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Really, really, once again, thank you for commenting. Definitely. All right, so the next question is from Loretta. She asks, uh, my concern is about stitching the cushion covers together. And this is for the slipper, uh, sofa slip cover video that we did. Mm -hmm. uh, would it be okay if I cover one long cloth over all three cushions and staple them tight? Or would I stitch one long uh, cushion cover and slide the three uh, cushions in? I would appreciate your suggestions. I think she's talking about should she put all three cushions, glue them together or, or attach them together and then put them in one long or do each cushion individually in a long one. I think that's what it sounds like to yeah. me. I'll, I'll address the, the, what we think the latter first. Right. I would not take one long cushion cover and take individual pieces of foam that are not glued together and, and put them into a cover. I don't do that. I, I don't think that's going to turn out well at all. Uh, they're going to move and you're going to have indentations. What we want to do is we want to take those individual cover or foam out of your individual covers and glue them together as one big piece. Okay. Then what I would do is don't, don't staple foam. It's not going to hold. Okay. What, glue it together with a good strong foam glue adhesive. We can have a link to that below too. Oh, okay. You can just get a little can mm -hmm. and that'll, that'll cover three cushions easily. Then you can take uh, batting is what I would do and um, put the batting over top of all of it because sometimes glue does what's called uh, I think it's called like a um, like a hard bead is what they call right. it and then you can feel it through the cover so you're going to want to cover this with batting so where the, okay? the 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 it's glued together you'll feel it's a lot harder pressed down the glue and the foam you're going to feel that right there and it you're using a thin fabric right. it sounds like to me so you're even going to see it so let's get some daycron batting over top of that too that you can staple right. without a problem but it's kind of better if you can glue it on because you know, it just turns out. It doesn't out. shift as much. Not as much. You can staple it, no doubt, but just glue it. You already got the glue. <laughs> okay, so we'll get that. Now you're going to want to make your band sizes uh, a one inch smaller finish than your uh, foam size. Okay, and that, so you would have one inch more foam and then also your Daycron. Okay, that should give you a decent looking crown. That's standard. Right. It, right. It'll look good. And there's one other technique that we do in the middle of your cushion cover is I believe you uh, balloon it out just yes. uh, three eighths of an inch on both sides. So you have your half inch seam allowance that's mm -hmm. already cut out. So that's, mm -hmm. or, or not cut out yet, but you know, you have it ready to be cut out. Considered. Then right. you go out from that half inch in the middle of each cushion on each side. So that's the, the mm -hmm. left, the right, and the, that my left, my right, and the front and the back. Mm -hmm. And then go out that three eighths of an inch on all sides. On the center. So like your ends here, which includes your half inch, okay, for the seam allowance. Mm -hmm go out just a little 3 eighths right in the dead center between the two mm -hmm. marks and that'll help with the crown a little bit. If you don't do that, it could pull in a little bit and may not fit so well in there. And um, if it's too much, you just add a little bit more day crime. So it's just a, a work in progress. Right. So I hope that answers your question. The only downside, or there's a, you know, there might be a couple downsides, I don't want to be negative about it, but if you sit down on one long cushion, two things can happen. What, one thing's gonna happen is when you get up, you're going to have wrinkles. Yes. Okay, it's very hard to reduce it. I'm not saying it can't be done, because I know a lot of people are like, ah, I did it, nothing ever. <laughs> well, good, I think that's great. But I've seen a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, complain it's leaving a wrinkle. Right. And you a can button stuff as, It's a butt imprint. You can stuff as much day crown as you want on top of that thing. One, and, one quick thing. Especially with a thin fabric. Right. Never put loose day crown inside with uh, over top it'll because some people will say you know oh just put loose daycron it doesn't yeah, work it, i've seen that it rolls up in a ball and goes into the corner right in the center it doesn't work so don't yeah. do that and we just had a customer we just took care of in, in virginia and she just stuffed all kinds of stuff in there it's a cool woman i liked her a lot and everything and her husband was cool but uh it was a mess it looked like a rat's nest so mm. i don't think we did a video on that one i don't think so so it's just going to become a ball of mess don't do what he just said the other downside is one seat cushions, usually people put what are called D-clips in the corner because when you sit down, the end comes up and you feel a little awkward. You mm -hmm. know, when you're talking to somebody, it's like, woo! Right, yeah. so it's a little strange. <laughs> so D-clips in the corner, and you can Google that, and I don't have, we don't have a video on that. So no. um, maybe in the future. But we hope that answers your question, Loretta. 
and we know it's extremely late. You could have sold your furniture by now. I don't know. So hopefully you're still going to be uh, needing this information. All right. Okay. Thank you for your patience. Yeah. Thank you. We're doing catch up. Right. So thanks, Loretta. We appreciate it. Soon we're going to be caught up. Hey, why don't you send us a picture of it if you'd yeah. like, okay? If you're willing, then please do at uh, our Facebook page at Urban Castle Interior Solutions. Right. I keep forgetting that. You think I'd remember that, but thanks, Loretta. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. So our next one is uh, Claudia, and you have a question about, first of all, thank you, Claudia, because you complimented our uh, videos and we appreciate it. Uh, this, it's, uh, let's see, we realized that you bought upholstery recording. Uh, where do you buy the mop cording? Uh, I'm also looking for continuous roll of tan zipper. So she okay. bought upholstery recording instead of mop cording. That's what it sounds like. Okay. And you're doing a slipcover, it looks like, because it came from the slipcover video. And, I, and then another footnote, you say basically, I suspect the mop cording is a term used professional circles because I'm not finding it uh, on my Google search. Okay, uh, it probably is, okay, the, a mop cording. We can get you a link as to where to get it. It might be too late. Like I said earlier, we're doing catch up and we apologize. But if you did use regular cording, which is uh, upholstery cording, for a slipcover, it's going to be okay. It's best to use mop cording, but um, it's really for when you're, which we don't recommend, is washing your slipcovers because it'll mop shrink cording. too much. Mop cording is all cotton and it can withstand the water. Uh, dry cleaning is better, but even that I've seen dry cleaners shrink uh, slipcovers. I've replaced them literally when they give us the receipt. You know, the dry cleaners are paying for this, okay? So, um, You'll be okay, because I'm, I'm afraid it's, it might be too late. That's what I'm saying it for. Um, so uh, you'll, you'll be fine. The mop cording here is a general term, or a, uh, a uh, term used in the industry, because it, it is the mop right. that it, was used years ago. What? If you ever saw, like, in your school, oh, the janitor plop down that disgusting mop head and started swirling around dirt, um, that <laughs> was made out, out of, <laughs> that was made out of most likely some material similar to it is mop that. cording. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you make mops out of this thing. So that's where it came from. We'll give you a link. Yeah. Okay. And, um, as far as the zipper cording, mm -hmm. um, uh, zipper cord, the zipper chain here, we'll give you a link as well. Right. This is nylon. This isn't metal. I think you can get them at it's finished aluminum. size. Um, again, we're going to get give you some links below. Hopefully, we'll have more than one, but we'll see what happens. Right, because you said you want a roll of tan. I don't know how much you're doing, how much you know uh, cushion work you're doing or right. cover work. But because um, this is, uh, I think, 250 yards. I so think it is. That's one big sofa. But, this one you know. is. There's different sizes too, uh, um, Claudia, because this is a number three. Okay, which is usually for like throw pillows, not holding back much pressure. But I'm telling you, sometimes I've had to slip in several number threes on slip covers and it's perfectly fine, okay? Even big cushions, but go for a number five. Right, okay, or those cushions, is. the things that are gonna hit a lot of abuse. Yeah, yeah, right. but three's pretty tough, but I'm not recommending it, okay? Go with number five, uh, zipper chain, okay? Mm -hmm. And like Grant said, there's different lengths, so you right. may not want to hold 200 yards or 175 or what have you. There's also different slides too. There's some that are inverted, so you don't have the, um, some people teeth. view it unattractive. You don't have the teeth showing. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be on the inside of the slip cover. So they're hard to find too though. Those are hard to find and they're kind of tricky to put on sometimes. So mm -hmm. the main thing is we'll put the links below. Yeah. We'll have it ready for you. We'll get you some good ones. Yeah, so hopefully we're not too late. We probably are, so we apologize. But we thank you. Hey, and if you want, you can send us the picture to our Facebook page at Urban Castle Interior Solutions. Definitely. So thanks again, Claudia. We appreciate it. All right, so again, thank you to Claudia for saying that comment. Thank We're, you, next question is from Jones. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Great job. I must say that I'm inspired and informed now. I feel like I just about build it. I can just about build a house. So that's very cool. That is cool. That's very cool. That's very so very thank cool. you. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, my question is. I have a huge sectional and a few of the cushions are not your typical square. Mm -hmm. Will I be able to order the size for these cushions or do these particular ones have to be taken in? I hope that made sense. Uh, thank you for your advice. And I hope we're not too late. Yes. Because like we said again, you know the rest we're of We're catching it. up. Right. Uh, well, I think uh, it's, it's, you can still just follow the contour of your, um, of your cushion. I'm assuming that this, you said Chase Lounge, right? Uh, no. No? This right. is a huge sectional. It's a huge sectional, so maybe they, they could be curved. Maybe this is a curved sectional. Right. It's a lot of different styles out there, and they are. That's kind of cool. Uh, maybe it's a Chase Lounge cushion where it's um, 
fin here and you got your arm here and it comes out like that. It's just a one arm on the end. I don't know. But if you have to, you can, this link that we're going to give you, one of the options is talk to them first, you mail in your cover to them and they'll fill it for you. For you. Right. And that's going to be the easiest ones. We do have videos that we've done recently. Uh, this is just a T cushion, so it is a T cushion. You can still do it yourself. We show you how to measure it. Now, let me pull that up real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, how to measure a T cushion and replace the foam with feathers. Obviously, you don't have to replace them with feathers. If you want to, you can. Well, you might have feathers. I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, find out what you have in the content. Is it all polyurethane or is it foam and feather? Where right. You have like a duvet cover over top of the foam. And the foam's inside there. This one particularly. They can help you that too. In that video, yes, they can. Mm -hmm. yeah, in that video, it was all feathers. And with all feathers, you need a little bit more um, extra cushioning because the feathers get matted down. Overtime. But it's explained in the video, so you can go ahead and check that one out. Maybe we, that'll help. That's true. That's mm -hmm. true. And um, the other one's actually not that important because it's a two-part video. The other one shows you how to make the cushion cover. But you're not doing that. Mm -hmm. You're just replacing the foam or the uh, stuffing inside. Yeah, so this is coming to my mind. If you have a curved sectional like this, because we don't know your application, right. uh, then you could take a piece of fabric and you can trace your cushion, a good one, the best one, the best shape that you have, okay? And it really does help too, if I may real sure. jump in real quick, if you have cording, because you just do it right inside that groove that that cording that's makes. That's right. Yeah, if or you have right cording, outside. Yeah, that's right. Then you can maybe just send them that, and they'll they'll do the measurements from there on out. Okay, they'll they'll do the allowances. Let them do the allowance. Say this is my finished uh, a template of my finished cushion, and then uh, they'll they'll fill it out of from course. there and send the phone back to you. You open up your cover, take out the old, and shove in the new. <laughs> so that, that's that's pretty that's that's an option. It, we're doing the best we can because we can't see the furniture and we're not there to help you personally, of course. But of this course. is the next best thing. Yeah, and if you want to, you can send those uh, pictures to our Facebook page at yeah. Urban Castle Interior Solutions that we mentioned like 500 times, but you get the point. <laughs> so we hope this answered your question, and we thank you for waiting so long. Yes. And or maybe you've already moved on, and um, I hope it worked out well. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Okay. And if you haven't, you know what to do now. Yeah, exactly. So we appreciate you watching this uh, episode of Save My Assets. And this is going to be something we're going to try to do more often because, like we said, it's a lot easier. Yeah, and if you have a friend who doesn't watch the videos or you'd like to watch the videos, um, tell them about it. And if they just have a question, definitely we'll, get onto this uh, YouTube and go ahead and go on any of the Save My Assets videos and post your comment below with your question. Yes, exactly. And if you'd like to give us a thumbs up, mm -hmm. we do appreciate it. We are um, doing what we can. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, please do. So we'll catch you next time if you have a question. On Save My Assets. Thanks for watching.